we're waiting on you to finish eating. <laughs> oh, I'm just I'm just eating wine gums. <laughs> I didn't realize everyone was back until everyone started talking. I was like, oh, everyone is back. Apologies. Um, yeah, so we 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 ended there with um, <clears throat> talk, um, uh, just staring down Emu with his darkened eyes, not mystically darkened, um, but just you know. Um, and he said something about it being unfortunate as well. Yes, it was like it's unfortunate uh, events, um, but unimportant now, or uh, something along those lines. Uh, and I said, think, yeah. "Where's the box?" Was his last words, I believe. I think as soon as he says, like, where's the box? I'll say, your brooch, is there some significance to its symbology? This is the mark of my employer. And out of character, do we know who the employer was based on the brooch? Again, does that, is that like a super famous... No, like, it's not, it's you know, not a symbol. super famous thingy. Like like, a... It's just, um... Some is it well known enough that one of us in the party would have justification to like recognize it somewhere? Um, probably, probably not. But okay, I mean, I'm not answering that. Hmm. Ah, good. Tick tock, Lou, you're making a very strange noise. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the loaf of bread I stole. <laughs> It's the security tag on it. <laughs> <laughs> it's the loaf of bread I stole. <laughs> this is rather some rather expensive hobbies. <laughs> oh dear. Ah. Um, I, 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 I didn't even get to keep the bread. She shouted, "Stop thief!" and I threw the bread back at her. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, we, I, we yeah, so if it's not something we'd recognise, then yeah. I, um, I think you just like all you know is like all your correspondence from the the. Employer. employer was um from it had that like mm -hmm. stamped on it or wax sealed on it or and you were told you know the contact had that as a brooch yeah and then um i think i'll motion to ovex hammer and say it appears you are somewhat connected to our newfound friend and then my eyes go wide like oh mystery <laughs> and i motion to the hammer with a big burnt in sigil I sort of look at it and be like, what the fuck? Um, yeah. Uh, do you kind of like look at it, like ex examine it at all, or do you just kind of just look at it and go, oh, jeez? I just sort of look and go, what? <laughs> and uh, I just sort of like shrug off and. I think uh, Talk would kind of get down from his stool uh, and um, hold out his hands and say, may I? Yeah, I just sort of hand it to him. It's a massive fuck off hammer. Yeah. Um like when you kind it's of the like same as him. <laughs> uh, I think it's probably taller than <laughs> How big are your hammers? Um probably about four foot tall. Four foot tall, okay, so not much. And they're big, like heavy bricks at the end of them. Or like King D D. What? Like fucking the person with a big hammer from Kirby. <laughs> I don't know. Who the penguin. Um, uh, maybe. Oh, yeah. I get you. Uh, yes. Uh, so, yeah, he, he kind of, like, he, I guess you kind of drop it into his hands. Um, yeah. And his hands, you know, do that thing when someone gets, like, put something weighted in it, he kind of go down a little bit and he lifts it up and he, he just kind of stares at the sort of, like, burnt in, maybe sort of, like, a charred symbol. Um, yeah. Penguin. Um, and uh, I think he would just like run his hand across it, and as soon as his like hand touches the the symbol, he kind of it's like as if he gets a static shock and pulls back. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. and he goes, "Very interesting." And uh, I think he would hold the the hammer right back to you and be like, "And you were Olvik. Olvik. Ah, strong name, strong name, fascinating." I don't recognize you, yet you bear the symbol. Some people know me by Stonebreaker. I think I roll my eyes very like to myself. I think I think no, uh, no. no one knows you this. <laughs> <laughs> I think like the, like the entire inn like just goes silent, and you hear a cricket, 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just coming for Thank you, Yuri. <laughs> Stop the bagpipes briefly. <laughs> they kind of like they kind of like peter out in like a little like drop like me. The jazz music stops. <laughs> a t- Can a I child. re-roll a per sec, uh, performance to start again? <laughs> Uh, you can. You don't need to roll. You can keep performing. I think you're you're, you're kind of proficient. Like people are into into your existence enough that you can just kind of play for for distractive purposes. And people are paying attention to you. <laughs> um, I have a ten anyway. <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, talk would kind of just look at you and and smile. Um, trying to kind of stifle a wee bit of a laugh. One more just to see if it's an eight. And he goes, yes. Uh, oh, a good, a good, uh, strong name. Yes, yes. Um, where do you, where do you hail from? Um, see, while they're talking, can I like motion to Emu to come with me as well, just to slowly back away from the the conversation a bit, so we've got a bit of privacy. Just while yeah, you're yeah, if you want privacy, moment. you've got it. Um, I think he's cool. he's far too fascinated with with Elvec just now anyway, to. But obviously, I finish your scene. Obviously, I'll yeah, yeah. have mine's after. Um, I guess I wouldn't really know the like the name of the world. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um. Yeah, I guess you would kind of just explain where where. Okay. N- name your 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 place. Whether or not you want to go into uh, well, once I was here and now I'm in some weird place now. Um, Universe seven B. Uh, I'm from a from a, a city called um, Stronhelm. I can't say I've heard of it. Um, is it is it far north? Hmm. I'm not really sure where we are, so I'm not sure which direction I would expect it to be. Hmm. We'll need to. Maybe if we we come across a map, you can. Point it out. Hmm. Uh, and I think he would. He would turn round. He would take his book out and start um, start reading at it again. Um, kind of hurriedly take his book out. Um, I suppose and uh, start staring at it. Um, quite intensely. Uh, Emu and uh, Tilda, are you are you wanting to butt in with your privacy? <laughs> We'd like to specifically butt out with our privacy yeah. thing. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's like so. A motion to you to obviously come with me. Do you? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Cool. And then, obviously, I do that thing where we're in the alleyway and we I show you the gear by obviously leaning into my robes and lifting out the box, very like half lifting out and be like, "I see. You should keep that hidden for now." Would you like to take it somewhere and hide it? Away from I do here. not know if that would be wise. I think uh, it is safest in your case. Well, you you do have a higher wisdom score than me, you know, so... <laughs> and more hit points! Um, yes, <laughs> by one. Um, <laughs> you have more hit points! Yep. Um, I think, yes, I was... I'm rather troubled by his demeanor. So there's something he is keeping from us. I... Ironically, we are indeed planning to do the same. True enough. However, we did not ask to be brought into uh, some other, some some deep place, and he seems to be to know more than we do at the moment. So all that we know, we may wish to keep a monopoly on said information. Yeah, it's a very dull board game. Thank you your counsel as always and then um, I put my hand on like your shoulder and do that thing where like you just rub it once with like my thumb and then I walk over to the um, like I just deliberately walk away from Emu and open the like the door to the bar and like put a stool, one of the bits of broken wood from the broken stool to like wedge the door open to let air in Okay, yeah. yeah. and then I walk back to uh, the conversation they're having um Yep, so uh obviously like hiding the thing away back in my robes obviously. Yeah. Um I think uh at this point this will be where kind of talk turns around and takes out his book and starts 
studying it. Um, Can I ask us, so like, just those all of us that were actually part of the original quest? No, what were we getting? Like, what were we getting out of it? Oh, you're getting a big <laughs> beefy it? paycheck. Big yeah. beefy paycheck. Was it payment on like, delivery? Uh, payment on delivery. Yeah. Well, because I'm half sure payment. I was literally it suspiciously think... beefy. Suspiciously. Like, <laughs> yes. I. I am um, significantly recalled the number ten thousand. Not even joking. I just that's I do recall that number from last session, but that's why I'm asking now because I do not remember what you said. I thought it was four twenty sixty nine. Four twenty sixty nine. I believe it was. I believe it was ten thousand. Um, I'm gonna have to go yeah. back and review it. But no, do you know what? For for argument's oh, sake, it'll be ten thousand. Ten thousand cool. gold, and that was each, I believe. Uh, yes. Okay. Cool. Good. Just for clarity, because that gives me a lot of motivation to give him the box, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Um, Ten thousand. I don't think my seven hit points are worth. But what if you want <laughs> to give the box to the right person, and the motivation is to give it to the right person? Yeah. Ten thousand gold suspicious. worth of a right person. <laughs> 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 um, but if you yeah, only get one shot, you'd want to get it right. This is true. Um, this is true. I don't get extra attack in this character, sadly. Um, yeah, I think I'll just I'll return and I'll kind of join the group again, and obviously kind of do that Star Wars nod to Emu when I rejoin the collective, I guess. Star Wars nod. <laughs> I, I love the Star Wars. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Have you seen that video where it just goes on for like three minutes? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've, I've got to search up Star Wars. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, you uncultured fool! Um, but yeah, so I'm happy personally. Like Tilda within herself is very happy that the conversation was like kind of quelled. That he seems to be focused on his book again, which is yes. Good. Has anyone asked about his book? On you go. Well, I'm playing bagpipes. <laughs> <laughs> In between notes of the bagpipe, what's that <laughs> book <laughs> about? <laughs> Your fans start going. That's a weird lyric. <laughs> <laughs> I could sing a song. So it's bagpipe beatboxing. Then, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the song is all about what is that book about <laughs> in the direction of him. <laughs> cool performance at disadvantage. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> it's going to go terribly. <laughs> oh, man. Um, but no, it's going to be so yeah, bad if, that the people... Double, double 20s. Is... If, you want to, if you want to ask about his... Um... <laughs> book, you're gonna have to stop playing the bagpipes and ask about his book. I'm afraid. Damn. Maybe that means I'm gonna lose out on money. Maybe that role though does translate to that, where maybe you're like you're thinking maybe I should go ask about that book and it's distracted you from playing as well, because that makes sense. Yeah, I like that. Um, and no, you're 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 kind of you're playing. Um, you're getting paid for free via free lodging and food. Mango. Oh, well, then I have no no motivation. Um, I stop the bagpipes briefly to ask him about his book. Okay. Um, I think... Okay, well, I guess, do you kind of finish the song, or do you just kind of stop halfway through as the, the, the thought comes to you and just... It's just coming up to a sick solo, and people are getting really into it. It's like a <laughs> never-ending... Isn't the whole thing a solo? Disappointing drops. <laughs> 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 They're clearing a hole in the pit! <laughs> <laughs> Never ending rises and disappointing, and I just abruptly stop and yep. go ask him. Do you like big build up? <laughs> and disappointing and disappointing drops. Drops. Um, yeah. And, um, yeah, I think everyone kind of like the abruptness of you kind of stopping before, like, some sick, you know, maybe dueling banjos, bagpipes type thing, but solo. Um, um, I, I think everyone's like, oh, we bit disappointed, but they they kind of go, ah, and then they they continue with their their conversations and their their meals. I think there's a couple people who are kind of pleased that you've stopped, that they can actually hear themselves um, talk <laughs> and think. Um, it's like a standard pub. Yeah. Um, I guess I think I don't know how the rest of you guys react, but I think talk doesn't visibly react at all to the the sudden stop of music you just i i just order more tea because yeah that's fine why not you get it the tea's quite just nice it's nice tea 
There's only one kind of tea. It's whatever. Nice tea. Yeah, it's nice tea. Mm -hmm. Good. That's nice tea. Yes. Who made the tea? Was it one of the like the serving persons? Yeah, or was it's, it the um, main it's, dude? It's, it's probably one of the. Um, I think, yeah, one of the one of the the, the younger serving girls um, just kind of so, gives you the tea. Okay, I think like I'll, I'll, breakfast tea. I'll speak to her obviously when she like hands me the tea, and I'll say, "You're very good at this." A well-crafted skill, and then kind of like just smile at her. I think she'll, I think she'll smile back, and she'll just be like, "Well, you know, there's nothing like a cup of tea to to relieve the stress of the world." And she'd curtsy. I think I like I kind of gently bow and like put like the teacup kind of thing up to like my forehead as I bow, and then uh -huh. um, sip the tea and go back to the group. <laughs> and she'd kind of um, go off in a visibly. Um, better mood than uh, mm -hmm. she was pre T compliment. You are all gonna love it when I turn flip and become Hella instead and murder oh, everyone in town. <laughs> I just need you to all go to sleep first. <laughs> so he ignores my thing about the book. Well, I didn't actually hear you ask. <laughs> um what's his name again? Talk. Jar. Talk. Talk Jar, yes. Mr. Shock. Talk. Badok. Doc. Dark what can you tell me about your life. book? <laughs> You're very interested in it. I think um, he would kind of just slowly um, lift his head and then slam the book closed um, and turn around and kind of regard you and go, ah, tabaxi. Miss, Mister, Miss, ma Ma'am, Miss, um. It matters not. Hmm. <laughs> yes, quite right. Um, sorry. What was your question? Tell me about your book. You seem obsessed with it. Ah, uh, this. It is merely a gripping tale. Details, man! <laughs> if I share too much, it would surely spoil your appetite. Uh, and I think he would, um, he would, um, kind of lean over the bar and uh, order uh, an another, a kind of like a meaty dish of some description, um, and pay the guy and hand you the plate um, when it arrives. Mm. Like a stew, maybe. Well, I guess I uh, scoff it down, and then I immediately go back to the the solo part that everyone was expecting. Yeah, you do. <laughs> um, yeah, you do. Uh, do you want to give me like a maybe a perception or something before you you do that, Riggish? Don't worry, we'll we'll placeholder that role. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Um, I think you notice. Um, as he's kind of you know dodging your your book question, you see like his face kind of change and when you say details man and um, his his eyes definitely um like actually go darker as opposed to <clears throat> the previous aforementioned darker mm. obviously i keep this to myself because i'm busy <laughs> <laughs> that is fair i think the only one i actually have a rapport with is tilda so I might tell her later. Yeah. Um, and I think that, that now he's been kind of drawn back out of his book. He puts his book back in his bag and he goes, Well, I can't seem to uh, summon another portal for the time being. Um, but we really need to not be here. Here. Yes. <laughs> Um, you all seem fairly capable. Do you wish to uh, take me to the next uh, town along? Why well, should we? Is that the end destination? I think I've already jumped some more questions yes. at that point. Um. Uh, we'll start. Sorry, what, what did you say, Diggy? 
well, why why should we take him? He's been a bit he's been a bit rude to us. Um, it may be in everyone's best interest that the package is taken to its destination. I like that he talks like he's had a massive stroke. <laughs> <laughs> Hello! <laughs> <laughs> Why do you need our help? Well, um, safety in numbers. You seem strong enough yourself. I think he would, uh, he'd kind of smile at that and then go, Flattery doesn't suit you. <laughs> Guess I'm going back to insults. <laughs> this is just me. Just watching this. <laughs> um, and yes, uh, sorry, uh, Tilda. Um, you you actually said something as well. Is, it, is this the end destination? The next turn over? No, but I should be able to create a portal after some some time. I'm sure. Is the range limited? Do you need to be? whatever the next town over feet away is um, for your spell to connect or could we perhaps fortify ourselves here for the evening and then try again in the morning I think uh, yes yes let's let's spend the night god that's so creepy him. <laughs> I think I just smile back to him and nod, um, and then I'll turn to the people behind the bar and order like bread and some kind of broth thing without meat, ideally. And then uh, okay, yeah, um, yeah, and I think uh, he, I think as as like all that happens, he kind of just gazes off into the distance, um, maybe kind of staring through the the bagpipes um, and uh, I think he'll just get up out of his stool uh, and kind of walk towards the, the music um, nod, nod at the, the um, at Gorm and um, walk outside okay yeah and I, I think I'd, 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 I'd go like for to it. <laughs> after you no on you go I talk a lot so go for it um, I'd like to loudly exclaim that I finished my performance, and I'd I wish to follow Jar, and because he smells of money <laughs> and fame. Loudly <laughs> 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 exclaim this in the middle of a bar. Yeah, very, very loudly. And um, I plan to follow him. I think I think um a, a few a few of the patrons kind of like look around and go was was that was that part of the the, the song or is, is is he actually is that what he's doing I'm don't I'm confused I mean it was very good um and then as you kind of like step down there's kind of like a delayed applause um from from a few of the 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 patrons and the the, the bar staff <laughs> the, the doom hammer. <laughs> Um, um, yeah, I, I think I'll, I'll look. Yeah. I was gonna say I was gonna look over at Emu, I, and then I like slide the second plate of like broth and bread over with the mug of tea, I, to you, Emu, because obviously I ordered for both of us because I'm sweet that way, and then I just look at you and like nod reassuringly, really slowly, and I, it's the we definitely dodged a bullet there, but I'm not saying that because bullets aren't in this world, I don't think. Uh, no. Oh no, well, so. I mean, uh, unless you, unless you count like something you'd put in a sling as a bullet, maybe. That I would just miss you, Lee. Give you the the Star Wars. Name. Yep. <laughs> it's like going to be a theme. It's going to be the, the theme. Oh, <laughs> uh, you gain XP for every uh, Star Wars nod that I deem as essential. Um. Excellent, guys. <laughs> so it's just going to be like three hours of that then, big session, right? Yeah. Guys, we'll level yeah. up in no time. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, Star Wars nod because I think it's becoming a thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I jump on the bandwagon. 
I think yeah, like see when you actually do like you like nod, maybe like the shots of obviously me and obviously Emu and I share the like the meal that I ordered for both of us and then we nod relaxed because let's face it, we dodged a bullet as I said, and then you like are in the background in between the two of us, you nod as well. I am gonna put my arm on your shoulder like your bicep, I guess, again. It's probably my head height. And then uh, say you did wonderfully. And you mm. smile at you. I do, so I always nod again. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> and I'll forget, I don't know, tear my bread in half and hand you half of it. I accept graciously. Yeah, I just tuck in. That's, I'm, I'm happy with that. That's my... I was chucking my mouth as one. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. That. Um, Mangy, did you uh, do you actually leave, or do you ex are you exclaiming that you 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 like was that part of your your song? Um, I have actually left with. Okay. The, um, the jar has gone. I think. Oh, I'm I think you you Oops. go outside, um, and he's kind of maybe maybe a, uh, maybe fifty meters ahead of you down a uh, just just walking down the street. Um, you've probably it's. I'm following him by a scent, mainly. <laughs> okay. Um, you find his scent really hard to track, um, for mm. whatever reason. He's got that, that kind of weird, obscure smell, but I think you really, like, kind of pick up the Can smell, smell of the... Brooch, so I was going to say, you probably pick up the, the scent of the brooch, um, mm. as you follow him down. Is anyone in the, in the inn, um, wishing to do anything while we, we disappeared? No, uh, like, rabbit like I've been keeping it... I've been keeping an eye, obviously, outside because that's why I opened the door and jammed it open. Yeah. Because um, I want to, I want line of sight outside at all times from where I sit. But I think maybe I'll see them go after each other. But I don't know if I feel worried about that, right? Because I don't really know either of them. Yeah. And I don't really like want to lose. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to lose. <laughs> what? Are you okay there, Mangy? <laughs> Star Wars nod music. <laughs> 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 like plus like you did like Gorm didn't give us any kind of hint at like what they were up to no, he before they just left. Or that so, he's leaving. Yeah, I think I'm just happy that the box was skirted over. So Yeah. But I think I'll note that they've left together. I just yeah, yeah. don't particularly worry because we seem to have agreed that we're gonna stay the night, so mm -hmm. uh... somebody else in here is worried, so Dig Dog Leo? Hello there. Sorry, I'll type a message out. What are we saying? <laughs> so, Star Wars nod music. Um... <laughs> <laughs> the last thing he paid attention to is the fucking chess. Um, okay, to recap. Um, <laughs> wait, like, are you, are you aware of what's going on, Dig Dog Leo? Well, I know that we're now outside of the pub, aren't we? Or fucking... No. 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 Okay, so okay. Maybe he's drunk. I think, yeah. <laughs> Oh. Actually, yes, I am drunk uh, in the game, not in real life, though. That's fine. Um, so basically, no, fine. what's happened well, yes, of is course, but... so did you did you miss like the the conversation between talk and the the people about the box and stuff? Well, yes, yes. Sorry, I'm just typing out a message to someone. That's fine. That's so fine. Went, that's fine. Okay. She went a bit fucking nuts on me last night. So. Okay. No worries. Um. Well, I guess maybe you 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 kind of set up. Um, more dragon chess while well, while well, that was uh, well, pretty much, yeah going on that, and that uh, is very much in my nature. That's fine. Um, and basically, what's happened is um, Tok and uh, Gorm have kind of left. Um, Tok kind of walked up to Gorm, gave gave Gorm a nod, walked out, and then Tok stopped his music abruptly, declared, uh, "I have finished my performance, and I'm going outside to follow this person who smells of money." and that's that's how they left. Yes, and then they talked about hiding the box. Yeah, like me and Emu went to the side while I'd managed to distract Talk. Talk was talking to Ovek, and then me and Emu stepped to the side and said, "Am I not sure about giving him the box?" And Emu was like, "I am very wise. Don't." And that was yeah. it. Yes. Okay. Yes. Cool. Not all. Uh, just nope. checking in to Onwards. see if you're concerned <laughs> about Gorm running off with talk, or if you're just 
so happy playing Dragon Chess. Well, honestly, I'm I'm a bit uh, prior prior engaged with this Dragon Chess thing. Yeah, that's really fine. Just, to the just wanted just wanted to check. That's fine. Yeah, can, I, can I roll Dragon Check again in hopes of winning more money you for the bank? Certainly account? can. Cool. Uh, that uh, drink. Wah. Fifteen. Yeah. Okay. Um. Roll. Uh, D twenty five. Uh, one, two, oh, three, two, five. You get eight silver pieces. There we go. Oh, silver pieces. Ah. Oh no, I, I think you, I think you stay up like to the the late hours of the of the of the the night slash morning, um, challenging anyone who who enters uh, the inn that happens <laughs> to have that. the legendary uh, <laughs> British Gorm uh, bagpipe so extraordinaire. <laughs> <laughs> the first one they catch good your turtles get on the board <laughs> yes <laughs> okay yeah okay. Um, can you have them pieces if I want four <laughs> so yeah um, Gorm you, you kind of follow the the um, talk the talk you follow talk down the the, the thingy you kind of manage walk the walk and talk the talk talk the yeah. talk um, <laughs> and I think you eventually sort of just find him standing outside um i guess the generic place of worship of um merchton uh he's just kind of God standing of outside staying there st um just kind of standing at the door i think he's looking at his book again um, as um saying. i think i give him a sniff and i feel a sort of um, a magic power coming from him. Not not anything crazy, but just I said something anyway. Not really knowing what it is, and then I point towards the church and say, um, "Shall we enter?" I think he would um, not even look up from the book. He would just say, "Let's." And I think he would try and he would like um, hold out his elbow um, for you to link up if you wished. Yeah. I think I'd awkwardly like not link my arms, but I'd like I gotta actually get my paw and grab his elbow. Yeah. Like on the joint. That's fine. Um Andy uh, Is how... that a prison thing? <laughs> <laughs> like... um, you hold a gun into <laughs> into, the, into his back and uh, um <laughs> I I I think like the you kind of like you both kinda of walk up to these kind of not massive but reasonably sizable double doors and they both just swing open off their own accord um, as you both walk in and it's a very just very churchy looking place um, there's a statue of some obscure deity that you definitely have no idea what it is um, with like you know maybe four legs and three arms um, and uh, he just kind of escapes your your grip again um, and kind of just plumps himself down in a pew and sits down uh, all the while he's still looking at his book um, I think I hear voices and uh, it's Gaia's voice and I start I get onto my knees and I start praying for guidance okay uh, I think the the sort of um, chapely place. And you're like, do you have your eyes closed? Are your eyes open? What's your uh, closed? Closed. Okay. In your mind, the 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 sort of temple is like lighting up, and you can feel like the warmth of the this this radiant light, um, appearing around you, um, and you you hear the voice uh, of Gaia calling down to you um what does he what does what do you hear um chastisement for yeah. not getting on with my quest yeah so i think i think it maybe say something along along the lines of you're failing me brigish you must go out and I, and I think 
you you hear the obviously the original message of go save the all the furry folk um of the land um but i think under it at the same time kind of simultaneously you hear um you must abandon all hope um and flee uh, and you feel like a sort of a shadow of a, of, of a being sort of looming over you like I, I shiver as a cat person does arch your back and such yes <laughs> <laughs> any poopers <laughs> um We'll pause on there for a second. Uh, it's so yeah. Um, Ovek, it's about maybe late afternoonish. Okay. Do you think that shops may still? Yeah, be I'd say so. I'd say there'd be like um things like a, at the the smithy will be open and. Uh, okay. If you mention places. to me what you need, I'll know where it is because I asked everybody in town where this stuff is. I'm gonna mention. Uh... I'd like to find a blacksmith and go for some shopping if anyone would like to accompany me. I... Yeah, actually, I really do want to accompany you because this will be fun. Um, shopping! Um, is, the, is the blacksmith still in the bar and can we go and introduce ourselves to them if they are? Um, I think uh, probably like the, the, the blacksmith's um, husband's probably in the bar. Cool. Um, I... Like... Maybe sitting at a table with a, a couple of like family members or whatever, you know, maybe the, maybe the mum's there and um maybe maybe he's got like a cousin as well, just kind of with them. Yeah, I think like I, I suggest to Ovek, it's like let me introduce you to the family of the blacksmith, and we can travel there together. And I motion escort over Ovek if he's I Star Wars nod. <laughs> yep, done him. Uh, and then, um, <laughs> and then, I give Emu a look. If Emu's looking, like, decide if you want to come or not, because maybe it's worth sticking together. Maybe it's not. If I should get any shenanigans of your own, all that's conveyed with a look somehow. Um, um, also with a, a single look, I convey that I will accompany <laughs> you, but I have very little interest in actually buying anything. But I think really it's a bad idea for looks. you on your own. Or you to not have too many people around. Um, <coughs> you. And then uh, I kind of nod in agreement, and then the Star Wars cue plays. And then, uh, yeah, so I head over to the, the table. Um, I don't know if you want to role play that out or just. Yeah, can do. Yeah, yeah. Um, so the I think I think um, as you. Approach... What was the husband's name? <laughs> Gregor. <laughs> Gregor, <name>? darling. <laughs> I think I think uh, Gregor would stand up and be like, mm, "Ma, I want you to meet. I want you, I want you I want you to meet. I want the, this is this I, I, dancer." I his so when he says, "I want you to meet," I say, "Ovek," and I kind of motion as like I'm revealing a new car. And then he would kind of look up and go, "Ovek, who is the by the looks of it the security personnel." For the magnificent, <laughs> wondrous, uh, British Gorman Company, um, I don't. Yes, I... and then she like she does that thing where she just tries to like pinch the air in front of him to like shush him a little bit. And she's like, yes, he's in need of your services by proxy. I believe your spouse has a blacksmith. Ah, yes, Grugar, my brother, <laughs> oh, my brother. <laughs> Gregor oh. and Gregor, <laughs> my husband's <laughs> brothers. My husband. Yeah. So, so Gregor, let's see. So, Grugar, Grugar, the husband. Greg, Gregor, blacksmith. Cool. Grogor, G and G, G G blacksmith. Cool. Yep. So, I'll then say yes, and ideally, the more symbology of your brand you could put on the items of your Grugar's craft, perhaps the reduction in price for the visual, and then I do jazz hands. And you go, I, I am 
perfectly, perfectly sure that we can arrange something with my dearest Grugar. And I turn to Ovik, smile, and then do that thing where like, I put my hand under your chin and just lift it the tiniest bit as if to say, See? It's gonna work and it'll be cheap. <laughs> I nod normally. Mm -hmm. I think um, maybe uh, this uh, Grugar's, um, Gregor's table is like just like a little bit off from uh, your table, Dig Dog Leo. Yeah. Um, so from where you're sitting and playing, you can probably see all this commotion going on over over Ovek and Tilda. Um, I think what what is Emu sort of just kind of standing off. Yeah, just yeah. standing by and keeping an eye on things, but not wanting to really get involved with anything to do with the the band. And yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is there anyone in need of being intimidated? Is anyone in need of being intimidated? Um. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I think I've got that covered. Actually, yeah, I was going to say, that's actually a thing as well. Um, can I obviously let Gregor and Ovik start the journey towards the blacksmiths on their own? Yeah, then, um, um, I think I think what he would do is um, Gregor would... So I'm just going to Leo, that's why. Yeah, I think Gregor would kind of finish... I think uh, him and uh, Ovik would, I guess, kind of talk for a bit, or he would talk at Ovik um, about his, his husband's work. Um, and... Uh, Kind of like be trying to eat as quickly as possible to try and get him over to Grugar's smithery. Um, yeah, and I think I'll just walk past the, the seat and like do that thing where I walk behind him like it's a dinner party and like kind of grip his shoulders and say, "Send Grugar my best," and then excuse myself that way. I think he would um, uh, turn around and go, "Oh, oh before before you before before we go, could I get out?" And he'd like pull out like a bit of parchment, like a really scrappy piece of paper, um, and hand you over, and then hand you over like a, a little writing quilt thing. Could I? possibly get um you know for for grugar of course um of course do you have a second one merely for practice of course and i smile at him and he, he would he would uh uh definitely like look embarrassed and pull out another piece of parchment yeah and i'll do the tilde symbol twice fantastic <laughs> 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 uh, and he would kind of Hand stuff that kind of he would like I think he would like pulls the paper out of his back pocket but he definitely delicately places it in kind of his mm -hmm. like breast pocket um, and walks out like standing slightly taller than he did before um, heading over to Grugar's uh, smithery perfect um, see as like they're leaving then right I want to just the only thing I want to say to Dig Doglio um, is about the fact that Gorm left with the, the dude talk. I am um, so I don't know what's Dig Dogly doing when I go over to him. Well, I'm just packing up the dragon chest now because I've, I've I've just had enough of it and I've looked around and I've noticed that uh, Gorm is not there. Yeah, yeah. any more pieces. <laughs> well, uh, yes, I'm pretty I'm pretty much sweeping the sweeping up the bar to get the pieces. <laughs> and um, I'll say to you, Gorm has left with her newfound companion. Not the tall one, the small one. Ah, well, where's he gone? That is my concern. Would you be able to surreptitiously? And I don't even finish the sentence, I just leave that to you. <laughs> Would you be able to surreptitiously? Okay. Okay, fair enough. I'm going to fucking head out the pub then. Have a look around. Good. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> and then obviously I'll run and I'll catch up with Emu, who's probably keeping behind Ovik at a reasonably awkward distance. Always. Okay. Yep. Ah, yeah. So I'll catch up with you and I'll walk with you. Cool. Um, and then I'm happy to like go to wherever you want to go next. Okay. Cool. Fair enough. Um. Yeah. Well, uh, Dig Dog Leo, we kind of you kind of run out of the pub. Um. I think maybe in the, in the in the sort of timeline of this, maybe you kind of see like the the tail of the tabaxi turn a corner um, <laughs> looks in the mud sees big paw prints yeah <laughs> <laughs> i think we should follow this here's your uh, big paw prints well, and remember i'm actually before. still human i'm just <laughs> a very nice person <laughs> so maybe you don't <laughs> <laughs> okay well i see a trail of where your tail's been dragging <laughs> Um, also, I could have sworn in the session one, 
Callum described you as no longer in the first suit, but actually, yeah, he did. I, did. <laughs> I was trans um, transformed into an actual Tabax. I really hope it was like a Sailor Moon transformation sequence. Of course. <laughs> 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 I think somewhere between Sailor Moon, Moon and Voltron, that's... Moon. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so you kind of step out and you, I, I guess maybe maybe you see the, that, the, you know, Devil some pop. <laughs> <laughs> Devil Tabaxi! Um, yeah, you'd see some, like, Devil pop Tabaxi did evolve to War Tabaxi. Um, <laughs> I think maybe you'd uh, possibly see some, like... Maybe a dog running, running like sniffing the the paw prints and kind of heading down that direction as well. Okay, well, I'm I'm gonna fucking just start marching down there, following what I can. Cool. Uh, Hopefully, not seeing anyone uh, I saw earlier. Uh, yeah. Uh, do you want to give me like a perception roll thing in the doodad? One of those. Yeah, I think uh, as you're kind of walking, walking down, like maybe a few turn offs just before the. The, the the chapel that they're at, you kind of see, um, a couple of like, robe tooted figures, like walking towards you, um, and they seem to be muttering under their breath about something or other, like the schedule of them. The, the, the okay, well, I'm, I'm gonna try and pick up my pacer and just try and just, just walk past them. Yeah. Um, as you walk past, I think you you overhear one of them say, um, "Yeah, the, the, the schedule's all over the place. It's abs absolutely ridiculous. We're expected to do this, and we don't have the power." Blah 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 blah. Um, and then in the distance, you say, "It'll be the end of us all." Um, and then you turn and you like lightning strikes, and you turn and you see the chapel <laughs> with the doors open. Um, <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> um, <laughs> Maybe not that dramatic, um, but yeah, you turn, you see the the, the doors are open to this chapel, and, and like, the, the, you you see your your new tabaxi companion kind of on their knees, um, and standing over them is uh, talk, just kind of looking down at them. Ooh, talk's kind of looking down at them. Yes. Okay, can I go in? Am I allowed to roll again or anything here? Because like, I won't say, can I go and fucking try and intimidate? Pretty Don't much, I'll be able to play. No, um, can I try and intimidate him and say, what the fuck's going on here? Yeah, you can like just run in and just shout at him if you I, want, but... I prefer... I was like, are you still in the street, though? I love that he went, what the fuck's <laughs> going on oh, in there? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you could... <laughs> What the fuck's going on? I was like, surreptitiously go follow our new companion. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Well, they're all on their fucking knees praying, and this strongly looking bastard. I love it. Lacrimo. Okay, well, yeah, pretty much. I'm going to sprint at him full speed saying, what the fuck is going on? Uh, are you going to try and in intimidate him? Yeah. Oh fuck! Here we go. Athletics check to go. Ah! Um. <laughs> <laughs> just go up, up the steps to the chapel. <laughs> check doing the forward flip um, through the door. I think. Uh, <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe, or maybe your voice starts to break. Um. What the fuck is going on here? <laughs> I'm gonna fill your dark soul with light. <laughs> um. <laughs> This became so scooby dude it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Take off my tabaxi head and yeah. someone else so, underneath. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, back to back to uh, British Gorm, I think. Uh, so yeah, you have that like moment of the kind of dark figure, or that presence of a dark figure kind of like, leaning over and you feel like the coolness of the shadow interfering with the, the warmth of all the light coming in. Um, and obviously you heard, you know, great guy say what they said, but with the, at the same time as go save all the furries, it was, um, you know, flee, blah, 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 blah. That's exactly what he said, verbatim. <laughs> <laughs> all right, <laughs> then. <laughs> so, yeah, what do you, what do you do in your... 
little prayer space. Your frustration. <laughs> Me? Yes. Um, I think my ears prick slightly, and I'm I'm, I'm definitely aware of a uh, voice breaking in the distance, <laughs> but it's not my key concern. And, uh, <laughs> you just hear a don't fuck. Mainly, it's just uh, I'm very afraid for my safety, and uh, I'm begging Gaia that I'm just a, a meager and weak servant with no clue of anything and that I require guidance and help. Um, I think uh, yeah I think you would hear um, Gaia <laughs> <laughs> can't believe this is a sentence that came out my mouth. <laughs> um, yeah uh, you, well you hear the voice uh, come back to you and say I have sent all I can but fear not child you will be free and um, I think Dick Doglio you run in and uh, as you as you kind of squeal um, at talk I think talk would just look up at you and put his finger to his lips and say shh I will most certainly not shh you. What does that uh, torque look like again? Uh, small. Very small. Um, we like kind of broad, um, finely dressed human man. Um, a dwarf, but not a dwarf. A dwarf, but not a dwarf. A dwarf, Pretty but a human. <laughs> a human. <laughs> like, do you want me to share the art of that particular thing? In the I chat? Can, then. I'm asking Cal, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Um, oh, that'd be I good. can. My, uh, glorious. It's fantastic. Okay, right. Uh, I can't tell. <laughs> that's, is that brown or ginger hair? Bringer. 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 Okay, that, that's colored. It makes sense in this universe. Fuck it. Yes. Mm. <laughs> it's not my finest. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Don't tell me to shush you, little Bringer bastard. <laughs> <What's it? laughs> um, I think uh, he would just kind of smile, look down and say if you wake him we'll all die if I wake who? and then I <laughs> I think um, at that point uh, Mangi you'll, you'll kind of wake up um, well British Gorm will kind of come to and you'll kind of maybe if you look up you see um talk just standing there over you um perhaps kind of in the same spot where you kind of felt that uh dark cool presence um mm. have i just fucked up guess we'll find out Yep. Uh, um. No, sorry. I was just responding to to Troy. <laughs> that extra R is all very important. Jar. 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 Um. Suddenly became a pirate. Yar. Yar. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess it would be pronounced Yar. yar. It's Yar. Oh, yeah. Yar. <laughs> yes. Yar. Um. Yeah, um, so you, you kind of look up and see um, talk, talk you are standing over you, sort of. Um, and he looks down at you and smiles and says, Yeah, all is well, child. I think I'm very enamored with Jar, and uh, I view him sort of as a, a grandfather that's very wise. Uh, yeah. I think he would kind of like pet you on the head and kind of ruffle like behind your ears a little bit and say fear not dig dog leo sir all will be well and he walks towards you and I guess he kind of pats you um, on the arm I'm, I'm going to lean out of the way of these pats <laughs> okay um, I think as he brings his hand like close to your, your, your arm and you kind of like maybe sort of duck out the way a little bit um, 
he'll just kind of scoff and um, walk out the door, take out his book and um, stare at it for a while. With the shopping crew, <laughs> yeah. you've probably made it to um, probably yes, made it either to or just about at um, Grugar's smithery. Um, did anything maybe happen on the way, or you did you just kind of head straight there without any sort of? I just wanted to sort of like chat to them, just to make sure that they can build one big enough, the forge is big enough. And he goes, yeah, I think. Uh, Maybe at that, um, Gregor would just kind of laugh and go, <laughs> Our forge may not be the the largest, but it can definitely, definitely big enough to suit your needs. Um, yes. Perfect. Um, and uh, I think he's kind of like pretty excited about um, introducing you to his, to his husband. Cool. Um, Emu and Tilda, any... You wanting to have uh, any sort of anything before yeah, we just go I, straight into it? I the... definitely want to definitely want to keep a, a distance between Ovek and Gregor. I'm happy for them to talk shop yeah, yeah. on the way to the shop, and it's mostly because I don't need anything from a blacksmith just now, except perhaps the joy at equal marriage in this universe and um, having the discussion with Emu. Just I don't know. I feel like I would talk more about my concerns about how shifty talk is but at the same time worrying that the cat went off after him but not really knowing what to make of that situation because i really just don't know what to make of that situation like in character obviously obviously it's even shiftier with the stuff i know in the meta knowledge but like yeah i don't know i just kind of share my concerns like bet between me and obviously emu hoping emu's wisdom provide some insight. I would not be overly concerned with a new feline companion. I think it's the being that will be able to look after itself. Yes, but cats often have a habit of bringing unwanted gifts home. And I think I just like do that thing where I clasp my hands in my sleeves and just walk ominously forward. <laughs> Let's just hope it is not too curious. Hmm. A nod. Like some kind of Sith Lord. <laughs> <laughs> With my hood up. I have concerns about our lo current location. This this town is is I am I'm not familiar with it and the the inhabitants it is it is something I cannot put my finger on. I think with that, then I'll maybe stop and maybe look around to try and take the town in. Yeah. I guess at that point, I think you said that it. I, I, I obviously I'm aware of this place, right? Yes. You said that right at the start. Um, obviously, I've asked everybody where they work, so uh -huh. I've tried to get like my bearings. You've got like a, a, you've got a relatively good mental map of, um, of the place. Cool. And... I think I'll take this moment to try and take in, just to, like solidify that with actually looking at things instead of just listening to people's descriptions because yeah. that's a nightmare. Um, and then I'll just make sure like I have a rough idea of where things are if I have to run at them quickly. Uh huh. Um, yeah, yeah. And, and obviously, do how loud was his intimidation, <laughs> and would it have been audible where we are? <laughs> um, I'm willing to go for an at twenty. I will try. Yeah. Um, okay. Do you know what? Roll, it depends how it. far away it is. Um, it's, it's reasonably far but not so far that maybe because you've definitely worked together quite a while so maybe you'd be able to to dis decipher that he shouted from somewhere yeah. you know and obviously me and emu are concerned about the fact that you know what you call him uh, gorm went off on his own so obviously i asked dig dog our other companion mean emu's companion yes so could Emu be helping with this perception and mostly yeah. rolling the perception? Yeah, yeah, that's better. fine. That's... <laughs> that is fine. Do they roll with advantage for me, Emu? <laughs> yeah, the perception check. Hi, I'm willing to game. That's the mechanic, right? That's how it works if you get help. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you yeah. That's a damn good roll. That's a really good roll. Um, yeah, I think maybe you 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 kind of hear 
like the maybe maybe Dick Dogleo does this a lot. Um, <laughs> he just comes into situations and goes, "Yeah, because if he's our what the fuck." In, in... <laughs> Um, so I think maybe maybe you just hear really. like the last last part of that um, maybe echo fuck, through. Fuck, 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 fuck. Yeah, I maybe... just hear a fucking bang as I step my toe and I scream. <laughs> yeah, and you, you kind of hear that echo kind of from down like the opposite direction. So if you came out the inn and went left, like it's coming from the opposite way, um, like that, and you know, oh my goodness, yeah. Dig Doglio's having an old fuck moment again. Cool. Mental map wise, do I I'm know sorry. where that came from? Uh, yeah, down there is kind of towards the cemetery slash religiousy place. Maybe you you met one of the the sort of like um choir minis- boys. Choir, choir boys and yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's face it, the choir boys. Um, sure. And maybe some of the maybe <laughs> some of the the like overly towns. devout um people of the of the time. What was that? I'm just like, this is why I do not like towns. <laughs> yeah, and I think um, I look back at Ovik really quickly, and Ovik, I assume, still happily walking with Gregor towards the um, yep. uh, Grugars and Gregors. I, I think I look at Emu and say, we should definitely check this out. And then I think I'll just like run towards the noise, because I wouldn't leave my companion. So I'm going to run towards it. <laughs> um, well, technically, right? Technically, the original quest was... I'll push my glasses up. Technically, it was me, Emu, and Dig Dogleo. So, mm. you're new, and so is Ovik. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to run after my, my old buddy. My veteran buddy. <laughs> uh, is this, is this must be the way. <laughs> and I follow up. <laughs> cool. So we'll do that, and then obviously, cool, cool. whatever comes next comes next. <laughs> um, I think. Yeah, we'll ju- we'll just uh, quickly go briefly with uh, Ovek heading to the the smothery. I think you kind of reach there. Maybe by the time you get there, you turn around and realize that um, <laughs> we're Tilda, gone. Tilda, and right. uh, Emu are gone. <laughs> Fair enough. Um. I think just shrug and say I'll, I'll meet them back at the tavern later. Yeah, um, I think um, Gregor kind of comes up to the door. Uh, uh, well, not maybe not the door; it's an open kind of thing, and walks up and shouts, "Gruga, Gruga, I have clients." And I think uh, Grugar's um, heads over, um, comes out from the back, and uh, quite a, a muscular. Maybe not quite as muscular <laughs> as you, um, <laughs> but um, compared to his counterpart, um, he's uh, admired. See him and just sort of flex. If, if Gregor and Grugar were played by actors, who would be played? I'm kidding. <laughs> it's, it's in the Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood when two big body builder guys meet up. <laughs> yes. That's also like Major Armstrong. Yes. Major, right? <laughs> yeah. So if if um, Grugar is Grugar is Armstrong-ish from. Full metal, and um, uh, Gregor is probably more like um, James McAvoy. Okay. Here we go. Sorry, well, I got another message. So yeah, um, yeah. Just say so I'll just mention that I'm looking for a shield worthy of a uh, of man of my stature. Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> a shield like that, that uh, it's gonna take a lot of resources. Hmm. Gonna take a lot of. I'll be in town for take a lot of at least. time. You got. You got. Uh, you got money, and um, I think. Uh, Gregor might chime in there and be like, um, he's, uh, part of the security <laughs> for, um, and then he pulls out a little, uh, the autograph and hands it over. And, um, 
<laughs> fucking just a paw print on the autograph. Uh, Grugor kind of looks. I think maybe Grugor is looking at it upside down, um, and he's like, "It's authentic." And then um, Gregor's like, "It's it's genuine. I got it off the off the off of Tilda." Well, maybe I don't know if you gave your actual name. Um, while uh, no, I definitely again. like I spoke to everyone. Yeah, like I yeah. definitely like I was very friendly. That's fine. Uh, Tilda from from the British Gorm experience. <laughs> um, bagpipe extraordinaire, and he was. I think um, Grugar is probably. This is like another one of Gregor's like things. He's like, oh, okay, here we go. Um, what another one of your weird, fancy, music things that I don't care about? And you go, ah, great. All right, for you, and then you just kind of like. Pat uh, Gregor on the head and look at Ovek and go. <clears throat> you got uh, you got anything particular in mind? Well, um, one of my acquaintances did uh, mention that they could put your uh, your symbol or your logo just for advertisement purposes, I believe. But other than that, just something that can stop this. I pick up my hammer and just like hit it down on an anvil that might be near me. Um, I think uh, and <laughs> yes, merch, man. That's band it. merch that's it <laughs> I think um, yeah Grugar would kind of go up to the hammer and expect it he'd kind of pick it up and I think maybe he would struggle a little bit in lifting it hmm. um, but uh, you know obviously that's sort of like when you pick up something heavy and then you see someone's about and then you go ah, mask, the, mask the pain mask the pain um, and then he'll kind of like flex his muscles even harder just to think and go hmm I think I think I know what to what to do it'll be about <clears throat> what do you think Grugar uh, Gregor I'm Grugar <laughs> <laughs> I wish I didn't name them so similarly <laughs> but a week <sighs> and I think Gregor would, would turn around and say hmm, I think you could do it in Four? Four days? Gregor would... Um, Grugar would roll his eyes. They scream. They scream. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and... Uh, um, I think he would just kind of come up to you and sort of talk about the finer details. Um, sure. And maybe like that you'd go to like a little table and talk about design and stuff. Um, yeah. While that's happening... <laughs> I don't know if I want oh, to know so what this sad. is. No, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> what on earth? Oh, oh my god! Have to, like, gonna replace it. The recording. Oh. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna edit all this out and post. Um. <laughs> yeah. So we'll we'll come. Oh jeez. We'll come. We'll go to um. <laughs> Quite the rabbit hole. Tilda and Emu, um, you're kind of running towards the the what the the fuck moment. Um, mm -hmm. I think uh, Gorm, what 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 do you kind of do as um as talk kind of walks walks away um, and kind of walks past uh, Dig Doglio. Yes. Um, I just I realise that I am I am being derelict in my duty and that um that tack is right and that we need to move on and that i need to support him in his endeavors so i get up and i turn and i feel like imbued with willpower and i follow him again okay interesting <laughs> dig doglio you okay so you, you can't you kind of um I, I sort of conflate the, the Gaia and the Tack together. It's okay. symbolic of the same thing. Yeah, yeah. So Gorm has now like pushed past me as well now. Gor I, I think Gorm's probably like beside you at this point. Um, maybe. Well, well, what? I the... say maybe. Yes, yes, he is. I'm in charge. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, what the shuffle are you doing? Great Gaia has told me of her quest that 
I must follow, and that this man here represents what we must do. Okay, and what must we do? <laughs> we must take the box and give it to him. Do you know? I don't you know, know if you know of the box. Oh, well, I suppose you overheard him maybe I think, talking yeah, about the box. I, in the dungeon. No, yeah, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure it was um, Gorm's knowledge of trees. Yes, that's yeah. right, that's right. Between yes. the box and the dagger, so yeah. That's right. Definitely yeah. I was aware that it was definitely made of wood. Yes. There is definitely a box. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Do we know of the box's contents? I don't no, think anyone does. So. No, I don't no. think anyone does. Well, I say I don't uh, yeah, think actually, does. No, we do. Mystery. Mystery. <laughs> Foreshadowing. It's full of foreshadowing everywhere. It's full of plot holes. It's full of the box. What's in the box, Jack? Plot holes. Okay, well, did your great Gaia tell you what was in the box? Grace. Guidance. Principles of enlightenment. I bullshit. You're going off your rocker. Always was, Chief, and then I do finger guns. Pew pew. Pew pow. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Cool. Um I guess uh so yeah, Tilda and Emu, I guess you come across uh, the two of them. Uh so we pow out. Um the two of them being Tok and Gorm. Um mm-hmm. kinda walking away from the, the thingy with Dig Dog Leo kinda standing there, uh, facing into the, the, the chapel. Fairly gobsmacked as well. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, like, I think, I guess we just, you know, slow to a jog, you know, or a slow run, as some people say, and then, like, just walk up to the group. And I try, I don't know, try and gauge the situation by looking at them. Like, does it look tense? Does it look okay? Do, are people, like, stressed? Does, like, what, if I try and read the room, I'm gonna say that I'm looking stressed. Uh, Gorm is yeah. absolutely hunky dory. Yeah, I'm. I'm acting like there's nothing odd at all. Nothing's happened. I'm just. Uh, I'm on the side of attack. Right. Okay. Well, how's uh, Talk looking? Is he a bit? I think Talk is visibly non-expressive. Okay. If that was an expression, undescribable. You could describe. Yes. Um, Just hiding his emotions. Not even that. Oh. It's a, it's like a distinct lack of emotion to show, I think. Um, mm. Apathetic. Apathetic, yes. Thank you. Um, walking, walking towards you. Um, I think he would stop if, uh, upon seeing you kind of stop. Um, and then his, he'd um, kind of look up from his book and wave. I think, uh, yeah, like as we... Oh, sorry. Go for it. That's just a meme, isn't it? It's uh, a thing of like, like, So, like, as we like get there, and obviously he starts like messing with his book. It's like we heard. I just like do that thing where I'm just like dismissing the way we've just ran. Is everything okay? What is the half orc done ness now? Hmm. Dig Doglio, sir. Would you like to explain the this is the concern the that you may have caused? The concern I may have caused. <clears throat> there is concern. Should I be concerned also? Yes. I look around the street. Is there? Is it empty? Are there people around? There's a few people. It's not exactly a fucking birthday party. It's, there's there's a few people. It's not like densely packed or anything. It's quiet. Very quiet. Callum, you've done some amazing work with your <laughs> That's voice. what I was thinking. I was like, oh, yes. Oh, I thought you said to me. Sorry. No, no, no. I was, I was asking Callum as the <laughs> yes, DM um, just because I, I know if I want to move the conversation inside instead of us going on the street. Um, I think <laughs> I think you probably, if you if you look around, um, you probably see... Because if it's quite quiet, if there's like people off distance, I don't care about them, but if there's people like like walking past... Us no, there's no one walking or... past. There's like there's a few people like ambling in the background. Um. If they're out of earshot of our raised-ish voices, I'm happy to keep the conversation where it is. But otherwise, I'd maybe try and move it somewhere quieter. I think um, if you if you were like talking quite loudly, um, people would probably hear you. Maybe not hear everything, but they'd definitely be able to pick up something or other. Yeah, we've got some good juju in this town. I don't really want it to go bad. 
for now. So yeah, I think I'll just like motion everybody closer to a comfortable but respectable huddle. Yeah. Um. And then obviously, if everybody decides to go in, I'll then say, and these concerns are. Well, I I came here looking for Gorm. I mean, came by the chapels and and the and the doors swung open. And what do I see? Apart from in the middle of the church, Gorm on his knees praying, and that tort guy standing right over him. Anyway, naturally, this uh, th th this seemed like a bad situation, so naturally I ran shouting to try and break everyone out of it. However, Tork just told me to shh, and he walked past me not to worry, and now everything would be good. And now uh, Gorm's acting weird. He's now absolutely fine, and there there's no cause for his concern. He's following Tork. I think I just try and take all that in by staring at you. Um, and I say, <clears throat> I understand the concern. Yes. How much um, caffeine did you partake in during your chess matches? Uh, about seven. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and I just like, <laughs> reassuringly, like, <laughs> reassuringly try and touch your arm to hope that it lets you know I'm here for you. Um, Visibly <laughs> pulsating. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling it, the caffeine sweats on the arm. Dun, 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 dun. And then uh, I think, I, I don't know, I turn to Gorm to see if there's anything, a reaction to what uh, Digdoglio said. What do you mean, following? Wait, weren't Tork and Gorm walking up the street? Yes. Uh, no, so... I, I'm, I mean, like, um, you said uh, Gorm is now following Tork. Yeah. Well, like, Gorm ran up the street to chase after Tork. I shrug. How, where is everyone right now? I, you're I, all in. You're all in a little huddle. Talk is We're also all there. Huddle. We're like just outside huddle the now. chapel. Yeah, just outside the chapel. All in a little huddle. Yes. Okay, well, forget what I said about um, Torque now following Gorm. It, it now just seems that like Gorm is under Torque's voodoo ways. Mm -hmm. I think. Uh, I think Talk would kind of interject here and say, uh, "I think you mistake my presence as nefarious." I think I just say I'm not under any control. Make make some gesture. I think to myself that's what somebody under someone's control would say. But I, don't <laughs> say that. I swear I'm not. <laughs> this isn't what it looks like. <laughs> but on my character <laughs> sheet, um, I don't know how I feel about this situation because it just seems like one of these really unnecessary awkward humor comedy type moments now. Yes, um, <clears throat> where everyone's like slightly embarrassed to be here. Um, mm. hmm. I feel like the Arrested Development music's playing in the background. <laughs> um, I think I'm just going to say if there are no current concerns, and I guess I say it, try, trying to like reassure like Dick Doglio that I get that there is clearly something a bit weird going on. Um, but obviously, Gorm seems as normal, I guess, as ever since I've known him moments and um well yes yeah it's like it's hard to gauge these people we've just met unfortunately uh hmm shall we retire back to our lodgings for the rest of the day and try not to make ourselves any more famous or infamous good idea, good idea. I, just... I just nod slowly yeah and if does everyone sort of just kind of head back towards the Le Tavern? If I've placed hang... my order, yeah. I'm going to hang back a bit before, when they all head off, though. Yeah, um, I think uh, Tox still, still kind of just standing around for a bit, um, and he kind of turns and looks towards the, the chapel. Um, Same, that's what I was going to do. How dare he <laughs> copy me? <laughs> um <laughs> And he, I think he, he starts, I, I'll catch up with you. And he, he walks into the chapel. Yeah, like, as he walks in, then, I am, and the automatic doors do whatever they do. <laughs> I, do I recognize the church, considering you said it was a deity of four legs and three arms? And, uh, yeah, like, I assume I know of the religions. Uh, yeah, um, it's... 
and I'm just going to come up with a religion name because I didn't actually oh. name this religion, but that's okay. Does anyone else Wait, want to name the religion? So well. I know. Uh, I had see. I had I had the picture of the religion. I just don't have the. Uh, probably the got flying that turtle dragon. <laughs> <laughs> it's a turtle dragon. Um, does, does anyone does anyone it's... want to name the religion? The on the nose Blainism. religion. Blainism. <laughs> Blainism. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I've got religion name generator if you want. Oh yeah, hit me. But, like I'll just copy and paste the first lot that came through. Right? They're going to be god awful. But there's what I got. Wow, the cult of world balance because of how many legs they've Let's got. Let's do it. Cult of world yeah. w world balance. Nice. So yeah, this cult is this is bad. this is the cult of world balance. <laughs> um, cult makes us seem bad. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's fine. Right? <laughs> um, I think they got the bit... oyster cult. We're cool though. This is true. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, it's like it's it's a fairly unpopular religion now. Um, I think it had its kind of big heyday. heyday in you know maybe a couple hundred years ago, but they're still like in the like the outskirts of like weird random places. They're still like a, a small following. Um, Medieval Mormons. Yeah, it's such a weird religion as well when you think about it, right? Because four legs, and three arms, like what's going on? Honestly, uh, yeah. is that a religion I would be concerned about? Is it a dodgy religion? Is it prone to? Oh, they did crusades back in the day. Four demons, you know. Perhaps how much is known about them in the present day because they've been out. Yeah, so th there wouldn't be any they're immediate concern. I think like their history, like you would probably be fairly versed in like they they had like I mean, a bit actually of, proficient in religion yeah yeah they had a they had a bit of a an issue with kind of offshoots of the religion and um, taking it upon themselves to to kind of take over large pieces of land and um ah uh, so what you mean is like the cult of the new world balance was like the yeah um yeah stuff like that uh <laughs> The new world bounds continuing. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, oh, the new dear. world balance unfollowing and uh... the cultists of world balance and such. And then world spelt balance. with an e at the end. Um... And a u, a world, world, a world, <laughs> world, <laughs> world from. Um. So yeah, it had like a huge Worldly. issue with that, and they all like kind of um resorted to some odd summonings and various um. Considered unsavory practices. I think I just shiver then, I, as that all kind of floods my mind, that kind of information, and then just kind of shiver it off and then just walk off back towards the group. Cool. Catch up um, with you. As you as you sort of turn around, um, I think you hear the. I suppose everyone everyone kind of hears the the chapel door slam shut. Mm -hmm. And. Um, did you that like if you turn around you you see the inside of the like the cracks of the doors there's a big like green flash mm -hmm. and um you kind of hear from inside oh shit <laughs> okay that seems fine. I don't even turn around. I carry on walking away. I in fact cast magical silence so nobody else can okay. hear it and it doesn't become a plot point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, because I'll obviously just turn around concerned. <laughs> um, um, did, did I notice, because obviously I was walking back when I heard all that happen, did I notice them noticing? It's a weird question, I know. Because if I didn't notice them notice, I'm going to shout that they should notice it. Um, yeah, I mean, unless anyone's actively not noticing. <laughs> Dick, We're, Dog I mean, Leo? I'm not there, so. Oh, well, Ovik's not there. Um. I'll come back to you in a second. Fire. I have, I have uh, something for you, um, but I mean, uh, Dig Doglio. Yes. Um, Emu are you, and Gorm. Emu and Gorm, do you actively <laughs> not notice, <laughs> or do you notice the slamming or of the doors? Don't. Here, like the door slam shut and then somebody shouting, "Oh fuck!" Yeah, it's green pretty, coming out the doors. Pretty susp. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. that 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 is pretty suspect. I'm gonna turn around on my heel and fucking start walking back towards the doors. Yeah, the OG no, trio. I don't, <laughs> I don't it. initially notice it because I'm tired, but when you guys stop, I'm like, oh, what's going on? 
I think maybe maybe Tilda would notice that then. Um, kind of yeah, like it, almost noticed, as like, if um, I'm just kind of oblivious. Yeah, almost as if Gorm um, is kind of snapping out of something and kind of becoming more aware of what it is. Like, does it is it obviously something affecting him that I would have any kind of knowledge on? Is there a role I can do to notice it, or is it not that obvious? Is it just weird behavior? I think it's just weird behavior. Um. It's, okay. yeah. um, it's it's more it's more as if someone who was kind of in a daze in their own universe um, so it's not like a big weird wavy psychic it's not like oh the, the, <laughs> the spell has been lifted Dude, in the clouds blue. of the He's eyes grabbing of... him by the neck yeah um, <laughs> oh. uh, the demon yeah, on your I back just... disappears yes um, I just motion to the others like the fuck with my arms like out to the side <laughs> and then I just run at the, the doors I guess to try and open them since I'm probably still the closest. Cool. Um, Ovik. Uh-huh. Uh, you... Where are you? You're up at the... There you go. You, um... You feel a tap on your shoulder. Okay. Um, like... Uh, do, do you kind of, like, look around, or...? Yeah, I look around. Yeah, so as you turn around, there is nobody there. Um... Could you make like a, a wisdom saving throw, please? All right. Oh God. Don't. It's a trap. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Don't know oh, you please. can fail. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh dear. Um, you're facing the nothingness. Oh, um, shit. And uh, as you kind of stare into the nothingness, you see. Within the, you see nothing, <laughs> <laughs> but as you as you're staring into it, like the more you look into it, and you're kind of like fixated on staring into it, um, you you can kind of make out the sort of outline of a like a humanoid figure, cross-legged, um, okay, and then you kind of start hearing your name being called out in like multiple voices at the same like but coming from the same source. Which name? Um, a stonebreaker. Cool. Just got to clarify. Yes. Um, and it's all just like stonebreaker, <laughs> stonebreaker. And I think the the figure reaches its like hand out, um, gesturing towards you. No. And I, I like see a different mineral breaker like each time. So it's like <laughs> stone iron breaker, ore breaker, mithril breaker, <laughs> um, iron breaker. Uh, no, yeah. Um, and uh, I think <laughs> I still level nice. up for that. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. So it reaches out, um, and it's like its hand is basically right at your face, uh, and uh, we'll just stop there. Fuck. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> next week I'm just not. Yeah, just prepare a new character for next yes. week. Yeah. Right. Um Chill. everyone will need to roll characters. <laughs> um. <laughs> Darkness has consumed you all. I play Wilda. A, a weirdly <laughs> a bald woman. <laughs> <laughs> everyone pass your character so, uh, on to I the play right. Ovec. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I play <British> Booyah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. Oh. Well, that was some good role playing session, guys, by the way. Yeah, was I, was, I was quite impressed. Um, I think we should start naming the sessions because. That's fun. Yeah. That's fun. Um, and yeah, so if, if anyone has any suggestions, I have a couple, but. Uh, I'd like, like to hear from you first. Star Wars Nod. <laughs> <laughs> A D and D campaign that closely resembles the plot of Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? <laughs> um, Just all the notes I took during yeah. this. <laughs> Too much tea. All Vex <laughs> mood swings. All Vex mood swings. I also was <laughs> Tilda's disappointment. <laughs> Bagpipes of holding. Uh, so a bag of holding is a like a D and D magic item. It's like one of the most famous magic <laughs> items for the. I think it was a Mangri that said they didn't know what that was. 
Um, mm. It's essentially just a bag that you can put more stuff in than you be, you should be able to. So the idea of a bagpipes of holding sounded perfect for you. Um, Good like bagpipes of holding would I keep all my instruments in? <laughs> you have you can have over. like an absurd amount of instruments. Um, oh, yeah. yeah, fantastic. It's like a certain volume, isn't it? Like a it does have stats, yeah, like a but it's a it is crazy. Yeah, but I just love I the idea of bagpipes of holding. I wouldn't mind having that as long as it was only for instruments. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, that'd be a point uh, yeah. use of that power. But, <laughs> I think it should uh, be called Barbarian Thief? Question mark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Raging Thief. Let's go. There you go, Callum. It's my, my box. It's my box. <laughs> that's my. That's my, my box. Yeah, oh, um, oh. Oh. How about this? A. Uh, and. I learn how you spell this word. It's probably not how you spell it, but there. Sigils and subterfuge. Sigils and subterfuge. Nice. I get. I have no good, like any number of suggestions or whatever yes. you want to call it. That portal goes where? <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe that should be the se like session one. Should have been now. You're thinking with portals. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's always the how you spell now. It's oldie worldy now. Yes. Now we you're <laughs> thinking e of portalsy. Um yeah, so what 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 do people like out of um Ryan's long list? I like sigils oh. and subterfuge. Sig sigils and subterfuge, I like that a lot. Me too. I'm gonna I'm gonna vote that. Get <laughs> yeah, cool. Sigils and subterfuge. Um, Love it. I imagine, I think, uh, obviously I spoke to Ryan about this earlier, but I'm, I'm just going to level you up based on, like, like, um, milestones. milestones. Was it? Thank you. I was, okay. I was thinking, I, in my head I was going place markers, but that's not a word. Place markers, yes. Place markers. <laughs> the mirror realm. <laughs> you know, we had things flipping on their sides and all sorts of shit. Do you know what? Yeah, I'll, 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 I'm happy with that for session one if people want to call session one the mirror realm. Yeah? Yeah? Is that what it's called? Can I, can I just double check? <laughs> that is actually what it's called. What about <laughs> Ogre Whelmed for one? Ogre Whelmed. Um, <laughs> even Scott Ogre Whelmed. Stuck in the circle. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite funny. I'm not gonna lie as well. Yeah. It's but like Ogre Whelmed. Not an Ogre. Yeah, well, I mean, he doesn't know where you are. I'm a big human, not a gross big human. <coughs> not a dumb gross big human. Don't you have antlers? Well, I've got a helmet with hat. antlers on it. Ah, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's his fancy hat. It's my fancy hat. It's a helmet. It's a fancy hat, yeah. I do have to take it off whenever I want to go through a normal-sized doorway, though. Or you just make a bigger door. That's it? Yeah. Door too small. Just smash. Kidding. Session one is a gif, by the way. There you go. Yes, that's I don't know. My, my yeah, vote for session that's one it. still. Now you're thinking about portals because I feel like, for me at least, yeah, there is fuck tons of portals. Um, <laughs> but obviously, I don't care what things are called in terms of that. I want the group harmony. Obviously. Yeah, well, it's group got harmony. it's got votes, so we'll go with that. Brilliant! Thank you What's for like coming through the portal, playing people. Yeah, we were indeed. Thanks for DMing, yeah. Thank you very much. DMing Thank you. Yeah, it was fun. Thank you all. It was indeed, indeed, indubitably, indubitably. indubitably. Same bad time yeah. next week, I guess. Same yeah, bad channel. <laughs> Oakley, Oakley. Yay!